Previously, on Waldwick Elimination Season 6, Helen became the fourth person eliminated, and she got eliminated with a bam. The challenge was apple picking, and there were a lot of things that happened during the challenge, such as Luna showing off her human form, and someone finding the last immunity idol. After all that, the shocking sparks were put for elimination, for one of the team members chopping down one of my trees, and losing points because of that. So, who will be eliminated in this double elimination? Who will win today's challenge? And who is going to win the next school election? It's time for you to find out, on today's episode of, Waldwick Elimination, Season 6. What the heck did I just say last challenge? Why is it that I'm always saying random stuff like that? I can't believe that I said something like that. Why do I always do that to women, and not do it to men? Wow, I need to straighten myself up. Yo Jeff, I'm going to skateboard for a little bit. Do you want to come with me? Sorry Jay, I'm not interested in doing it today. I am still regretting what I said earlier. I can't believe I did that to Luna, even though the fact that she might already have a lover already. Man, why is it so hard to find love in this game? Well, I have some advice dude. I know you still should think of love, but I think you should more likely focus on the game. My uncle Danny once told me, if you focus on love and not what you're actually doing, you might have problems later on in life. Thanks for the advice Jay, I needed that advice so much. He's right. I think I might have to try to focus more on the game, rather than my love affairs with some of the other members in the show. I might need to test that out, before I actually do something bad, like what I did last episode. Oh yay, one question, how does Jay store all that advice in the first place? I mean, he was really cool to listen to, and I think he should possibly have a podcast someday. Never underestimate Uncle Randolph's and Uncle Danny's Book of Truths. One of the best teaching books for teenage and young adults to read. So, I actually wanted to tell you something sad bro. Okay, go right ahead. I wanted to tell you that I'm a big fan of Lotta. The reason why I'm telling you now is because Mitch is still in the show and she will probably get angry of me for liking her. Well, I am somewhat neutral to her since I don't recall her doing very bad actions. I mean, she took care of those bunnies in the sanctuary, and to be honest, she has a good amount of fans, so I think you be fine. In my family, we are very neutral to things like people and groups. We don't care about political opinions, or even argue a lot. I had strict parents in the past, but I have a wonderful family, because of my wonderful wife, and my little boy. Neutral is a thing in the world, and mostly stuff like this would be in the gray area. I don't mind Shane liking Lapa, and totally respect his opinion. I'm happy I let Sabro know, because Mitch Magonia hates Lapa with a passion. I am so worried, that if she ever finds out, I might be booted off next. Alright Shocking Sparks, welcome to the first multi-elimination. As you may know, two of you will be heading home today. After this, there will only be six of you left on the team, since there are eight of you right now. So, let's start announcing the first few people safe, but before we start things off, Brenty unfortunately has immunity this elimination, which is so terrible in my opinion. I am so sad I can't do anything to fix it. Well, you can't do anything. I'm gonna win, and that's it. Okay. I am 100% going to ignore that. Anyways, now let's get on the actual votes. To a shocking surprise, only one person got zero votes in this voting. That lucky individual is going to be. Saburo. Great job dude, I guess no one thought of voting for you. Wow. This is so amazing. 
I hope I get immunity next elimination. All right, the rest of you got votes. The next person, safe with one vote against him, is going to be. Shane. Great job dude, you're safe from elimination. I am so happy for you. No way. This is so cool. I am safe, but I got the immunity card. Yes. Alright, I'm going to announce one last player safe from elimination. That player, with four votes, is... Bottle. You're safe again. Great job. Awesome. Now let's hope Pillow survives this elimination. I hope she and I are safe together. Alright, we are here in our final four. Since this is a double elimination, I'm going to announce the first player eliminated. Eliminated, with 25 votes, is going to be... Gwen. I am so sorry, but your journey ends here. You got 25 votes, which is the most out of all the votes we got. Sorry girl, you're eliminated. Well, I didn't expect myself to leave this early, but I guess this has to happen. Now Trent and all of the Total Drama fans are going to be upset about this. Well, Mike won recently, so I guess that's an amazing achievement he did. Good luck to everyone still in, except Renchi, and I hope to see you all at the finale. Alright, now I'm going to reveal the next player safe from elimination. Safe with 7 votes, is... Eraser. Congrats dude. You're safe for another day. Phew. I was nervous for a second. I'm so happy I'm safe. Alright, now down to Pillow and Luna. One of you is safe, the other is not. The last player, safe, even at 10 votes to 22 votes, is... Pillow. Congrats on your safety. Unfortunately Luna, your journey ends here. With 22 votes, you're eliminated from Waldwick elimination. Well, I guess I kind of deserve it. I mean, Nick recently got eliminated, so it kind of makes sense for me to get booted off as well. I guess Toxic, the Vermaker guy YT, and all the Hell Evil Boss fans will be upset about this. Well, I guess it was worth a try, and I did my best. Good luck everyone, and I will see you all at the finale. Oh my gosh. That was so close. I was so worried I was going to be gone. I really didn't want that to happen. I need to play better this challenge. Now, that was so close as well. I actually was thinking, if Pillow's in that situation another time, I'm going to try use my idol on her. I don't want that to happen again, and I think I might do that, I might bump up my social status. Alright, our next challenge is going to be playing a game called fill in the blank. One member from each team will go up at a time, and then they will be getting a proper noun that will be either a beyond person, place, or thing. One letter at a time though. We will play three rounds and the first to two points, wins the game. Alright, let's have you guys send up your first two players for this game. He decided he wanted to try this game. He told my team he would go, since I'm really good at my own knowledge. He lives in Victopolis almost my entire life, and I love living there ever since he was a little girl. I decided I wanted to send up the three smartest players for this game. I know Pillow likes to take notes. So I brought her up. I also sent up myself, since I have a very smart brain, and I have good intelligence. And for some reason, I decided to send up Eraser, because he's able to solve things very quickly. Alright, 
Let's see what happens. All right, you two decided to go up for your teams. All right, your first letter is V. The category is Vian Troublemakers. Victor Lim. Vera Thompson. Both of you are wrong. Let's add a letter to the box. All right, we have a I now. Still, the category is Vian Troublemakers. Vito Ferras. Violi. <laughs> Violi is correct, pillow. One point for the shocking sparks. All right, next up, we have Jason and Saburo. Your first letter of this puzzle is H. Your category is Camp Animal Crossing Contestants. Q. Huck, both of you are wrong. Let's now add another letter to this puzzle. All right, now we have an E. What are your next guesses? Henry. Hans. <laughs> Jason is right. It is Henry. Point for the calm cats. Now, it comes down to this. Whoever gets the next right answer will win the game for their team. All right, here is your last puzzle. The puzzle is going to start with the letter M. And your last category is former Trixie squad members. Mabel Dina. Micah Emerson. To my surprise, one of you got it on the dot. The winners of today's challenge are going to be The Shocking Sparks. Congrats guys, you're safe from elimination today. Good job guys. Calm cats, your fate will be decided next elimination ceremony. Be prepared, since it will be your first non-troublemaker elimination. Oh man, why did I say Mabel Dina? Michael was my original voice, but I changed it at the last second. I might need to use my idol soon, because time's running out. Maybe I can try to save someone, or even save myself. Oh well, let's see what happens this elimination. Alright viewers, time for you to come up with a decision. Please eliminate one of these 8 players from the Comcats. Mitch has immunity, so don't vote for her to be eliminate. As usual, voting ends on the day of the ending screen. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Waldwick Elimination, and we will see you in Episode 7. This is Waldwick, signing off.